If the Volkswagen Tiguan is a bit too big or perhaps a little out of your price range, Volkswagen reckons the new T-Roc is going to tick all the right boxes for you and it is coming to Australia. So today we're going to check it out before it finally does land in Oz early next year. Let's be honest, the Tiguan can look a little bit conservative unless you go all the way up to that R-Line spec. But given Volkswagen is targeting a younger audience here with the T-Roc, they've made sure it's gonna be available in a wide range of colors. And then you'll have cool design options like this two-tone roof, which really makes it stand out in traffic. Let's talk about dimensions. It's around 4.2 meters long, which is around 250 mils shorter than a Tiguan. But if you put that to the side, I mean, it actually still looks really good in terms of size. It's not like it's overly compact or overly big. And that applies to the boot as well. You can see that sort of taper off there. You push that Volkswagen logo, it cracks open. This one's got the auto tailgate on it. 445 litres, so that is a really good space. You've got 60-40 split folding seats and isofix points on the two outboard seats as well. So it is very functional interior. But you're going to love the infotainment and the tech, so let's take a sticky beak. The competitors in this segment need to be a little bit worried because this is a really good looking interior. So scratchy surfaces to one side, you're getting really cool features like this. This in particular is the R-Line spec. You've got a little bit of suede Alcantara stuff there. Eight inch infotainment system, super clear graphics, very easy to use and backed by a voice recognition system. I love this steering wheel that comes in the R-Line with the flat bottom paddle shifters there as well, head of the driver and LCD display. On that display, you've also got features like maps showing up on there, so you never really need to take your eyes off the road. It's an excellent function to have. Smartphone mirroring technology, so you can get Apple CarPlay on there. Wireless phone charging, you've got USB points littered throughout the cabin. Really good sound system, dual zone climate control. Then you've got great functions like auto parking, so if you're not confident with the parallel park, Volkswagen has got you sorted. Now there is only one engine and driveline spec coming to Australia. Is it any good? Let's hit the road and find out. So the spec Australia is gonna get is a two litre turbocharged petrol. It's made into an all wheel drive system and a seven speed dual clutch gearbox. The good news there is that it makes 140 kilowatts of power, 320 newton meters of torque, and it'll do zero to 100 in just 7.2 seconds. It actually sounds all right as well once you bury the foot. Being the sportier option, especially here in the R-Line trim, you're getting bigger wheels, but it doesn't affect the ride. It still rides really beautifully. And that means that if you are in and around town, and you know, let's be honest, this is where most people are gonna be spending their time. It's just a comfy combination to have, and you never feel like you're driving a car that's overly sporty. Visibility out of the cabin's great. Front, rear, sides, it's all really good. It's very easy to park as well. And the steering isn't heavy either, so that means those low speed maneuvers are gonna be an absolute breeze to do. Safety in this segment is really important and Volkswagen has thrown the book at safety for this car. So you're getting low and high speed autonomous emergency braking. That's the tech that stops the car if you don't. You've got front and rear parking sensors, high quality reversing camera, and it is really easy to drive the car with all of those features working in unison. The Volkswagen T-Roc is expected to land in Australia around March next year with a price tag of about $40,000. It'll be fairly well equipped for our market as well. To read more about the T-Roc, head to caradvice.com and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.